What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here back with another Series 12 collaboration video and we have one, the only, we have Will aka Will Tank with a super cool Zamazenta team. Will, I know it's your first time on the channel so thanks for joining us today. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us a little bit about your VGC background? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for having me Clover Bells mm -hmm. and uh, hello YouTube. Um, I actually started VGC. I I played uh, some singles OU back in like the Gen 4 days, but I kind of like I've been a Pokemon fan my whole life, but it wasn't until 2020 with Sword and Shield when I really got into uh, like the VGC side of things. And um, still not like a huge tournament guy, but I'm a bit of a, a ladder warrior, I guess you could say. I play like a lot of ladder tournaments, a lot of ladder. And um, yeah, I just I just really enjoy playing uh, playing VGC, and especially in a uh, Series 11 and Series 12, just trying out the the more unique restricteds you can use and like the cool pairings you can find, I think is really fun. Nice. And uh, I, I see you've got a uh, quite a bit of a ladder achievement with this squad in particular. How far have you gone with this uh, one in particular? Um, with this one in particular, I've hit um, somewhere in the top twenties uh, this season. Um, there was a, this is kind of a modified version of my series eight slash series 11 team. And um, that team I got number four with at one point on the ladder. So, um, I think Zamazenta is actually actually really fun, and it can catch a lot of people off guards. And there there's certain there's certain end games where I feel like if I had Zacian here, I would not have won. Now, granted, you could probably say that in the opposite way a lot of times too, but I mean Zacian or Zamazenta is the style pick, so you know you got to go with the style pick. Of course, yeah. I mean, I mean, back in Series Ten when I made that uh, Zamazenta team uh, with Salamence and Grimmsnarl, I think oh, that's yeah. yeah, I remember that team. I think that's the one that yeah, that's the one that got me the. Uh, Cybertron feature. Uh, so you already know uh, we support the Shield Dog on this channel. So without any oh, yeah. further delay, ladies and gentlemen, Will is going to call all the shots. I'm just going to click the shiny buttons and give live commentary. So without wasting any more time, let's just go straight on to the ranked battles. All right. It's Zamazenta right away in oh, the no. mirror, Will. <laughs> what are the odds? Clover, I Never once in Series 12 have I come up against another Zamazenta player. Well, here we go. <laughs> the, the great so, content. <laughs> he's got his, uh, we've got our shield dog and our, our land titan. He's got his shield dog and his uh, sea whale. Oh, this is the perfect yeah. way to kick off the video. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. Okay. Hmm. That thunderous scares me. That thunderous definitely scares me. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I want to see if we can... We could probably get away with leading um, Thunderous here. Okay. Leading our Thunderous. And... I'm thinking Zamazenta. But the thing is with Zamazenta is because we can wide guard a Spout, but he doesn't have Tailwind. So I don't think he's going to want to go for the Spout anyways without Tailwind unless he's Scarf. He, um, could, he could be Scarf. He's Japanese. <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, uh, let's bring the Zama. Let's bring the Zama. Okay. I was, um, think we need this guy. Yeah, we, we need the Don. Mm -hmm. And it's either Ensign or Venu. Uh, it's good because we've got, um, I mean, we've got Weather Ball into, the, uh, into their Zama. We can take out their Rilla pretty easily. Obviously, you got, you got five seconds. <laughs> Venu, Venu. Take Venu. Okay. <laughs> All right. I locked in in time. All right. <laughs> we're we're going we're gonna to hope to bet. Now, the, again, like you said, the, the Thunderous does pose a threat. Again, we don't know if it's Prankster. We don't know if it's uh, defined. Uh, just from that team, I'm gonna say his. I'm, I'm gonna say it's prankster. I'm gonna say it's prankster. Yeah, I usually go into these kind of games thinking it's prankster, and then it's defined, and it just blows me back. That's the scariest thing about. Oh them, boy! <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Are Ours you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Ours is yeah. Oh. He, all right, that's his, right? Okay. Uh, yes. So he's faster. Not sure how much that's going to matter, to be honest. Um, okay, this is immediately very interesting. Um, I say what we do here. Um, oh, super fun. Okay. We're definitely going to howl up for sure. Okay. Uh, coaching would be really nice here, but we've got howl. Yeah, I um, like that one better. Yeah, I think we're going to Airstream the... Let's howl up. Let's airstream their thunderous. We're not scared of Zama right now. Okay. We're just we're just trying to keep speed at this point and howl. Okay. And then hopefully next turn we can double into thunderous with a lightning and a bash and that should take it out. Okay, we max first. 
Yeah, the qu the only question here is if he's coaching, because if he's coaching instead of Howell, that actually makes this pretty difficult, because he's just us but with defense also. Okay, but um, but then but then Arzama does more damage than him. That is true. Yeah, that is the the eternal trade off. So yeah, I mean we are making Zama a threat at the same time here to potentially double into the thunderous next turn. Oh boy. Yep. yep we're doing we're doing this. Yeah, Minute as one. As, him, we, as soon as I saw the dog next to the thunderous, I was like, oh yeah, he's defiant. Yeah. We're doing this. <laughs> All right. Max thunderous against Max thunderous. I still right. can't get over. We're doing this mirror. I've never. <laughs> you think he? You uh, think he airstreams the our dog? I think he does. Okay, there's the coaching. Yeah, that's tough. Coaching versus Hal. Let's see who wins. Yeah, right. Um, okay. So, I mean, he's basically neutral at this mm -hmm. point. Um, yeah. We went for Knuckle, though. Okay, so we're getting speed on him. That's Ow. not going to do as much. Yep. Play. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're okay. Now, he, he's giving us the speed control right here. He is, so now we can uh, we can actually attack before he can get another coaching off. That is true. So this is the trade-off. There's the airstream. Oh my goodness, that did no damage. <laughs> but, That's okay. Yeah, next turn, I mean, uh, Lightning's going to do twice that, and then Bash is probably going to do more than we think. Mm -hmm. Bash usually does like about 35%, I would say, to a Thunderous. Okay. So, yeah, I say now we just we send the Lightning and we send the Bash into it. Normally, these guys run AV, so I'm not really scared of a Protect right now. So you want to double in? Yeah, we doubled the Thunderous here. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if this is enough to take him out. We are faster. We are faster. We do get this out before the coaching. Okay, here's a plus one Behemoth Bash against a plus one Defense Thunderous. How much is this doing? I want to say 30, 35. That looks quite good. I, I, think, th I think this takes it out. I think I think that's lightning range. Let's I think see. so too. This is gonna be close. <sighs> oh, it's, it's enough! It's enough! It's enough? Okay. Awesome. Yes. Hal has prevailed over coaching. Hal wins. Okay. So this is great. We've got plus one plus one Thundy. Um his Zama is just kind of sitting there Watch. just wanting to coach. Watch in. this, watch this, watch this. This is why, exactly, exactly. This is why <laughs> Hal is better. Hal yeah. cannot fail, coaching can fail. This is exactly yep. why I like Hal more than coaching. So for you coaching simps over there, uh-uh. Oh, look at that. He brought the Incineroar, Will. How kind. It would be How ashamed good. if we were defined. Oh, wait, we are. <laughs> Make the call, uh, Will. This poor guy. Um... Okay, so they don't really have any more speed control or anything. They don't have tailwind in the back. Um, I think... Hmm. What do we have? <laughs> oh, I'm we have a Dawn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not super scared of Ensign right now. Do, um, let's actually just go for... Hmm. This is annoying because because we're not going to be able to kill the Zamazenta. Um, let's just take out the Ensign. Let's just go for a Knuckle into the Ensign. Okay. Let's just help. Let's just howl up one more time. Sure. So I'm not scared. Of the, I'm not scared of the Zama right here. He's not putting We're, any pressure. I think yeah, he just cancels yeah. like that. <laughs> we have yeah. won the mirror. We have proven Hal is better than coaching. When I saw the Ensign come out, I was kind of like, I feel like this is him forfeiting. <laughs> yes. For me. Uh, that is an alchemy, <laughs> and that is a Perserker. I see. A, okay, yeah, I see a Perserker. I see a Lunala. I see. This is this is fascinating. Um, top a thousand okay, opponent. So I, how do they get Trick Room up here? Um, uh, did, did Lurker get Fake Out? Do we know? I don't know. Uh, it looks can... like a dude that's Fake Out. He looks like a little Fake Outer. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know my, my per... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not one that comes up too much. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I wish I knew. This almost looks like we can just full send a Venu Don lead. Um... Oh, you want to go sun lead? Okay. I kind of want to go sun lead here. I feel I don't know if he can. I don't know if they can really uh, handle that. He does get fake out, by the way. I just checked. He does get fake out. Okay. Okay. Um, so I guess that could be an issue. Um, now let's just lead Venudon. Okay. Um, Incen, and I think I think we might actually leave the shield boy at home this time. Okay. I don't see what all he really accomplishes here, other than Dang. like one cutting that hat. Maybe this one might help. Yeah, I'm thinking Urshifu, yeah. Because um, Urshifu, uh, that Necrozma really doesn't want to see Urshifu or the, Nula, the, the, the Lunala. So. Yeah, I think yeah, this is the play. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, if he has a Hatterene, interesting. We take it out. Yes. Do we have Sludge Bomb on this Venusaur? We actually don't. Oh, okay, um, that's that's fine. Lash is going to do an absolute ton, though. We've got, uh, I mean, we're modest max with Life Orb and it's Frenzy Plant. So. Okay. That's fine. Oh, look at yeah. that outfit. Ooh. Oh, he's styling on us. Yeah. It's Lunala Hatterene. Lunala Hat. Okay. So this is the, the classic double trick room lead. <laughs> picking trick room. Okay. Uh. Now, there's a Meteor Beam on that. There's Moongeist. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think the threat here is definitely happening. Yeah, because we have Urshifu um, in the back. Yeah, we've got Urshifu and Ensign, so that Lunalo is kind of just waiting for us to take it out whenever we feel like it. Um, I want to say we lash the Hatterene. Okay. And just go for a Blades. Because I, I don't really know what he can do here, except, like, max the Hatterene and try There's to no, go something. Crazy. Could have White Guard. But, you know. Could have White Guard. We could just try. <laughs> Yeah, I would just go for yeah, go for the blades because I mean, if he wide guards, and then at least we know we'll see. Then he's not. Yeah, he's not trick rooming if he wide guards. That's true. And if Green tries to trick room, it's just going to die to the slash. So. All right. Now he could have mystical fire, but again, that's not going to do anything. I'm just trying to think what what would he do here. Uh, he could max the Lunala, which is okay. Sure. Yeah, maxing Lunala is fine. I mean, we'll break the shield with the lash, and then we can just wicked blow it. All right. Ah, okay. oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> is it dash that's Hatterene. That's wide yeah. guard. Yeah, so fire punch would have been optimal there, but I just really didn't. <gasps> oh, it's Sash. Yeah, yeah. See. Okay. All right, yeah. now he gets a switch. But what comes in, though, that abuses the trick room besides Lunala? Uh, I guess it could be um, Necrozma. Okay. Yeah, you're um, right. Necrozma don't typically run a psychic move, though, do they? Uh, they can, but not normally. All right, there's the trick room. Dang, we should have fire punched. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I even called it too. That that's probably wide guard. <laughs> if he if he led that, yeah, I was like, yeah, that that might be wide guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's okay. Definitely. We have instant. Um, we break the shield though, which is always. Okay, let's see. Does he bring it out? Does he bring out the necrozma? If he does, okay. I mean, maybe we just leave it alone and then just kill the Lunala if we can. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. The only thing that's scary is, I mean, a, a psychic type double up into the Venusaur. That's true. Because, uh, um, I mean, even if the Necrozma doesn't have psychic, I feel like maybe a Steel Spike plus, like, an Expanding Force might. What? So, I mean, Alchemy. Decorate? I guess huh. he's going to go Decorate, Max Psychic? Huh. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe we guard here. Just try and start stalling out this trick room. Because, I mean, he can easily take out our Venusaur here if he wants to. Okay. I'll guard but it. I think we here. Could click wide guard again. But... He could click wide guard again. Um, let's see. I don't want to switch an instant. I want to save that Intimidate. Okay. Fire um, punch? I mean, if he wide guards again, are we? does that really move? You got Is five seconds. Stalling? Just blades, blades him. Okay. Because if he wide guards, then he's just stalling on his own trick room. Sure. I mean, what's out? Okay, he's maxing. Yeah. So I feel like he's got to. I mean, he could hard read us here and just go into the the dawn. Sure. Okay. He could. But maybe he wants to get rid of the venue. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Because yeah. he maybe he realizes that the Groudon is the threat to the Necrozma in the back. But again, he's maxing this instead of the the Necrozma. Which so... is very nice. Yeah. yeah, so there's the guard. Did he go for a psychic move? Let's see. Uh oh. Please go into Venu. Please go into Venu. Hit the Venu. Hit the Venu. Uh, you the uh, They always beat, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, goodbye, Groudon. Bye, Don. <sighs> um, okay. <laughs> now. Well, we have an Ensign. <laughs> We do have an Ensign. Um, if this is a min speed Lunala, that could be problems. Um, I say we send in the Ensign because okay. we want. Yeah, we want Urshifu for the uh, Necrozma if he's in the back. Yeah, we, we we can't let him decorate again. We might have to give up the Ensign. Maybe. Yeah. He's plus um, two already. Yeah. I, the thing is, if he's slower, I mean, if we're slower than him, I don't even know if Hilaria kills well, him here, honestly. Yeah, well, we can try, because he, he can only kill one, right? 
He can only kill one, yeah. So, so maybe maybe we lash the um the alchemy. Okay. And, and just, we dark bury at the Lunala. I think so. I think it has to be like this. You can only kill one. Which one? Yeah. Alright, so there's the decorate. Okay. The only thing that's a problem here is uh Alchemy could get a little annoying, funnily enough, because we've got Urshifu in the back. Okay, that did not kill. We're, we're faster than him, by the way. Yeah. Starfall? That's very interesting. Okay. But that kills. That um, does kill. We should, um, we should take out the Alchemy here, though, and then we've got a Sucker Punch next turn. That is true. So, and... yeah. Okay. And there's the Vine so, Lash. Alchemy should go down here. Oh, yeah. All right, now he probably did that just so that there would be no sleep shenanigans next turn. Yeah, little does he know. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't run yeah. it. <laughs> All right, we here we go. Heart. Now, the okay. problem here is, okay, how many turns of sun do we have left? Two or one? Because how are we killing this thing? We should have two. Okay. So I said that we, we just sucker punch the uh, Lunala. Because okay. we have Sack, so even if he guards it, he can't kill us in one turn with the, with the Necrozma. Okay. So I think we just sucker punch. Yeah, this is pretty easy. We just uh, weather ball the um this. Hmm. Actually, do we do this? How many turns of trick room are left? Just one. It should be just one. Oh, it's two turns. Ooh. And two, two turns of sun. <sighs> yeah, okay. that's not good. That is very not good. Um Do we read a guard on the Lunala? Mmm. I don't know, but you got 15 seconds to make that play. <laughs> um, That's tough. Let's just weather, sucker punch the Lunala, weather ball the Necrozma. All right. No, he can only take out one of us this way. Okay. All right. Let's see the guard. Does he guard? He guards. He does guard. Okay. Fair. But like we said, he can only kill one of us. And if he doesn't have a psychic move here, I think we live. <gasps> the earthquake. Like oh, we should have read that one. But let's see how much this does. I don't think this does a ton. Oh my god, Vinu lived! He crit that's, the Vinu. And now we go down to a uh, to life orb. Yeah, that, that's rough. Oh man. Oh, I don't think this kills. With Lash, it might pick it up. <gasps> Ooh, that's very close. I don't think it does. Yeah, and we've only got one more turn of Lash. This is our last Lash turn, too, yeah. Dang. Alright, goodbye, yeah, Vinu. That, that crit was really bad, because we could have just double protected this turn. Yeah. Is, uh... Oh, it actually killed it! Killed it? Yeah, it did. Oh, oh okay. we have a chance. Yeah, Lash I... is broken. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I think we win. <laughs> yeah. We can just, yeah, we can just protect here. I mean, or, I mean, we can sucker punch him or protect. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's pinned. That's it. GG. Fine yeah. Lash. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This guy went not... for every hard read and the it's stupid alchemy. Oh, man. Did. All right. Okay, now I just want to make sure I click the right button. All right, GG. Is he going to let us see the animation? Oh. What are, what are you doing? doing? Oh, okay. He clicked Trick Room oh. again. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. I mean, he just now we do. he just reversed yeah. it. <laughs> I don't think he understood. I didn't think he realized that there was still a turn left. Did he? Yeah, he reversed it. Unless he's max speed. Isn't Lunala base 97? <sighs> yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's like Solgaleo, right? 97? But what are we? Uh, we're max. We're max jolly. So I mean, we're we'll speed tie if anything. But, uh, maybe we just sucker punch. Because I mean, yeah, what else I is think, he gonna do? Yeah. yeah, I think this is it. This is always the play. Yeah. Oh, oh, he wants to stall it. Yeah, he just wants to. Oh. Just wants to... Okay. I think we have He's to. Good. What do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a mental battle now. Sucker punch him again. Okay. We're we're making a point. Sure. We'll do it until we can't do it anymore. Okay, he's gonna keep clicking that. How many yeah, how many how many wide guards does someone get? Just, Ten? Maybe. Okay, I think what he's doing is he's hoping that we're like banded or something here. Oh, he's I see. To, oh, so yeah, let's just wicked blow him now. Okay, we'll let him know. Yeah, that was fun while it lasted, buddy. But we are not banded. I swear, if we lose. Okay, BG. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. Speed tie we, dazzling. Glitch. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Surprise! We're not banded. <laughs> Got it. Oh he man, was really, he yeah. was really keep you win con. Yeah, I mean that I I would go for it too. I yeah. mean, might as well. All right, GG. That's two. Whew. <laughs> oh, it's the typical Zacian Kyogre team. A very standard yeah. one.
Yeah. Um, see, that Venusaur is really annoying. Because, like, if we try and counter his rain with our Groudon, then Venusaur can just smack us in the face. Um, we have a Thunderous, though. We do have a Thunderous. Yeah. Um, like, he has two Intimidators. <laughs> the only thing about uh, Thunderous, like, a lot of the times I will want to lead Thunderous into these kind of teams, but if they just lead uh, Torn plus Zacian, uh -huh. then I'm kind of in a weird spot. You um, can fake it out. Go Ensign. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go Ensign Thunderous. Uh, Groudon Venu in the back. Groudon Venu. No Shield Boy, huh? No Shield Boy. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, let me think. I mean... I don't know what Shield... I mean, he wide guards here. Um... Could, like, let's say he leads Kyogre. I mean... Okay, sure. Let's lead, uh... Hmm. I have 15 seconds. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to click it. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Okay, we'll try our best. Yeah. Let's hope he leads Zacian. All right, he's got two Intimidators. If he uh -huh. leads one of them, okay, great. The only thing I'm really scared of here is the, uh, the Torn Zacian. I know. But will he click it? Will he lead it? We're yeah. gonna find out. There's Torn. Is that Zacian? Torn? God dang it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's <laughs> smart. Okay. All right. But we so, let our instant. We intimidated it. We get the intimidate. The thing is, Zacian's so broken, I'm pretty sure it's still a two shot. Um, so. Well, we can get thing, faster than it. Um, yeah, but then they just tailwind next turn, right? Well, what if you make the hard and just flare blitz him in the face? Yeah, we could do that. Because um, he, he'll, he'll protect, right? Like, let's say he protects. Yeah. I mean, sure. I don't know if um I don't think you protect. I mean, do you really protect uh, Zacian here? You're not super scared of Thunderous. Um, True. I almost think that we. You want to just go for a protect and a parting shot on the Zacian? Just kind of really get him in a spot where like his board's just not doing much to us. Okay. So, so we really start off. Yeah. Sure. Let's just weaken him. I'm down for it. I don't, the flare blitz won't kill without the sun. Yeah. See, there's one protect. Does he protect here? Wow. He did not. Yeah. Dang. We could have just blew him out of the water. Yeah. The thing is, though, without Sun, I don't think Flare Blitz kills. So we'd have to switch in Grout on there. With the double up, it would have, but that's okay. Now we can yeah. at least... Now he's minus one. Like, technically minus yeah. one. And then yeah. we can always re-pivot him and break in minus two. So what would you want to do? You want to get Thundy Dawn out here? Uh, Yeah, bring bring, uh, bring Grout on out here. Okay. Now, if he sees this, he might want to bring in Kyogre. Yeah, so I'm thinking what we do is just uh, switch Groudon right back out into Ensign. Sure. Okay. All right, now what do you want to do with the Thunderous? He just Actually, protected. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If he if he goes into Kyogre, he's, he's going to take, take press, damage. Yeah. Yeah, he's press press blades on the switch. So I say we we might want to just go for the airstream onto the the um the Tornadus. Okay. And just go for uh, um, Prespice Blades. All right. Does because he switch? This should, this should put us in a place where we don't we don't really want to get a kill here. Yeah. Uh, so this might be in a place where we get a we get a double kill next turn. Now, what would be really cool is if he was Dynamax a Tornadus and and had be Max Airstream. Oh. <laughs> nah, he's not gonna do that. We Dynamax first anyway. Yeah. Okay. So Max Thunders, and he stayed in by the way. Mm -hmm. So that means he might have protected the Zacian here. Yeah. I mean, that's cool with me. I guess. All right. Did you protect Zacian? Yeah, because, um, because if we don't want to... We kind of don't want to kill here because we want to get to plus two before the Kyogre comes in. I see. Well, he's going for the Behemoth Blade. Yeah, he's going for the going for the Thundy. All right. He's minus one. <laughs> yeah, How, this should do... Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, here's the airstream. Okay. Now, and Groudon would... is... Oh, wow, that didn't even actually try and kill. All right, now let's see. How much is this Presbyce Blaze doing? This is in range for instant Flare Blitz later on, if we need it. Yeah. Okay, we just have to make sure we hit the Zacian. Okay, good. We okay. hit. 
Ugh! Oh my god. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think Fire Punch might... Well, no, Fire Punch isn't more optimal because he can switch into Kyogre. Um, yeah, so I think now we just... Uh, we punish we, him. Yeah, I think we just Airstream the Torn. Yeah, no late game Tailwind, yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airstorm the Torn. And... Missing Blades is scary here, but I think we have to do it just in case he switches out Kyogre here. I, I think so. I, I have faith. I have faith we'll hit it. This is this is for YouTube. This is the Col this is Cloverbell's using Groudon. I don't miss mm -hmm. P Blades. I get <laughs> out of here. What do you mean? All right, he's thinking about it. I, you know he wants to switch. You know he wants to switch, Will. Yeah. Will, there's no way he's he's letting the Zacian die. He's gonna let us. He's gonna switch it. Do oh my god. Oh. Uh... Okay. So he's going for it again. He's gonna chip. Something. Don't crit. That's not a crit. Okay, goodbye, Zation. All right, we just have to remove this Tornadus. He still does have no Oh my god! He went for that. that. That's uh, kind that... of bad, though. I mean, uh, is it? Because now we're uh, yeah. we're not going to be plus two. True. So, so they can still outspeed us in the back. That is also true. So... It looks like we got a lot out of that, but I really think that was actually bad for us. Okay. Huh. I, hmm. So, the Kyogre has Tailwind. Mm -hmm. Alright, well first of all, we... Yeah. He's only got one more turn of it. That's true. Now, my idea here is... We could always switch out the Groudon and, you know, just permanently... But the thing is, he has Max, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. oh, so dang have, it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to play that... Uh... It's not. It's not over yet. What's his? What's Kyogre's friend though? That's the question. Is it Venu? Oh, it's Landorus. Oh wow! Ooh. Holy cow! Okay. <laughs> um, this Thunderous like... is is very strong, uh, yeah. but it's also a little slow. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So he had icy wind this whole time. Very nice. Okay. Well, so, I... we're plus one. Oh, wait, is it how many turns of a uh, calendar left? Just one. Just. On uh, it should be. Oh, it's actually two. Oh wow. Two. Oh yeah, they protected the torn first turn. Yeah, you oh, did. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I well, think we. I think we have to guard the thunderous here. Okay. Just so we don't lose two Pokemon, and we have to switch Groudon out into Instant. We get an Intimidate on the Landorus, and yeah. we can change again. Yeah, hopefully this... he dies with Landorus here. Imagine. Because then he can weather back. Oh, that would be that would be super good. That would be like the best possible scenario if he maxes the thunders here. But this is a this is a top 500 opponent. We'll see. Yeah. Um. All right. So there's the intimidate, and there's the max. Okay. Is this Kyogre or is this Landorus? Either way, I think he geysers the ground on slot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be we're honest. Losing. Yeah, we're losing Ensign here 100%. Oh, <gasps> what? But, Yes, because like what if you think about it, what's a uh, non-Dynamax Landorus really going to do next to a Kyogre like Earthquake itself? True. Yeah, I think this is best play. And then he just airstreams and just permanently gets faster. All right, but yeah. now where did he go into? Did he go into the Thunder slot? He... Aww, yeah. that's 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 always safe. Okay. No, I just. Spout. Yeah. We might, we might take a spout in the sun. I don't think we do from that range though. No. <laughs> oh, we oh, slide oh, for yeah. Lando. I'm okay. Why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay. we're, we have to bring in Groudon. Yeah. All right, goodbye, Ensign. Did, um... So uh, his his Kyogre now has Tailwind and is plus one. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think this is uh, slowly getting out of our control. Um, GG. But let's see. Let's I mean, see. we can we can change the weather. <laughs> yeah, I think we go um, Groudon and just protect. Okay. Because we're, we're really just in stall out as Dynamax mode right now. Sure. Because once that Landorus is tiny, like, what's he going to do? Rock slide us? But we're not getting any damage on this Kyogre because this Thunderous is going to die, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well. This is definitely tough. I um, mean, I think we just... Do you want to go for it, the supercharged anyway, or do you want the double protect? <laughs> I, think, I think we have to bank on the double protect here. Okay. Because if, because if he doesn't uh, but, target... Uh, well, my, my thing is, like, 
He's he's gonna be faster than us no matter what after everything, right? So like, yeah. what is our thunderous doing? I don't know. Sitting on the field so that uh, Venusaur doesn't take a hit <laughs> while he's mad. All right. Well, <laughs> you got ten seconds. I would protect. Yeah, just go for the protect because okay. we're never getting the wild charge anyways because he just water spouts. Are we P blades? I'll be protected, Dawn. Yeah, yeah I'm protect. protecting the Dawn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No double. Okay. But yeah, I mean, we were going down here anyways. If he like scalds or something, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. There's an airstream. Dang, icy wind torn. That really got us. It did. And then he had the landers in the back, which always beats a sun team. <laughs> yeah. And the, he uh... keeps careful not to lead it. There's another spout. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Thunderous. Okay, now... Um, so now what we do is we protect the Venusaur. Oh, wait. Do, wait, did he airstream? Yeah, he did airstream. He did, okay. he did, he did. And he probably is going to do it again. Yeah, so we, we've lost the speed here. I, I think maybe how we win this is we protect Venusaur and we get yes. like a super crit on the Kyogre with Crespus Blades. Okay, I'm down for that. Might as well. I mean, that's really all we can do. Yeah. He's not going to expect to protect on the Venusaur. And we hope that the Kyogre is like no Ice Beam and has Thunder. <laughs> okay, there's the Urshin. That's definitely going into Venu. All right, yep. we take it. Okay. And then we could take the Spout in the Sun, I would say. I think we can. We're Citrus, we right? Gotta... Yeah. Okay. So he's Life Orb. He's doing that. There's the Spout. Okay, this should do about 60. almost six. Yeah, that was my number. Okay, never mind. Oh, Goodbye. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we tried. Okay. God dang, icy wind. Yeah, the icy wind really got us there. Well played, though. Well played to them. Yes, that was their win. That was their win con. All right. They got us. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, 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 we'll do another one. We'll do another yeah. one. All right, because the because the first one was so quick. All yeah. right. <laughs> Let's do one more. Delta Kyogre. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is a thunderous game, but thunderous is mainly on this team for Evelsel. Okay. Um, oh. So I say we go, we go thunderous Zamazenta. Yeah, this is good because if he leads the Kyogre, we have the white guard. Yeah. Um, Groudon on the back. Yep. And maybe the answer. With, yeah, with the, with these three, it's always a toss up on the last one between Venusaur and Incen. Yeah, um, because you're maxing the Thunderous, right? And then we don't really have would, sleep powder on the Venusaur, so I don't yeah. know. Maybe maybe this. Yeah, I say we go Incen just to like kind of keep that Landorus in check, so he doesn't go too crazy. Okay, we'll um, give it a go. Yeah. His his name is the 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 Greek U. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah. I forget. Uh, dang it. <laughs> I'll remember later on. You'll remember right after we stop recording. Yes, exactly. All right, here we go. What are we leading? It is a Kyogre. It's the Baconberg and Grimmsnarl. Oh, boy. All right, hear me out. We're going to have to... We're making a read here. Okay. I've seen, the, I've seen this lead into my team so many times. What I think, what I He's really gonna foul think play. Wants, what I really think he wants to do right now is scary faces and foul play. Yeah, I think so, so I think too. We, I think we protect Thunderous and we just bash the Grim Snarl. Oh, that's a read. Yep. Okay. Now, if he reflects, good on him. Rank one thirty-eight. I mean, he's definitely going to go for the foul play, right? He has to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with this lead, that's that's obviously what you want to do because Thunderous is a problem for their team. I feel like. Oh, hundred percent. What? Okay, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> no did eight, he... I guess. Oh my god. Yeah. He is trick. This has to kill. Please, Will. Not today, friend. Will, okay. this has to kill. Unless he's like max defense, this kills. Okay, we'll see. Is he impish or is he careful? Will? Come I pray. On, come on. Zama? Oh my god, it lived, oh. Will! No, that's this good. is the, the, the Zacian fans are going. Wait, what is that? Eject button? He was. Tr okay. Well, it, at least, at least he's out of our face right now. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Oh, okay. Okay, Will. Alright. Hmm. I, I, I think this is time for the Guard of Wides. What do you think? This I don't know. This is a... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this is Wide Guard. He what just protected it? Eveltal. If he protected Eveltal, he's not AV. Yeah, he's not AV. The thing is, does Kyogre stay in here? Because we could easily just Lightning him. I guess. Does he have the Landris in the back? He might. He might Go, beat that. Um, yeah, I would Lightning the... Let's just Lightning the Eveltal. Okay. And just go for the wide guard. All right. I'm going for it. Let's see if he reads it. No switch. Yeah, that's... He might be protecting... I don't know. That's Or maybe he's Scarf. He could be Scarf. Could could be Scarf. We max first. So now, does he max the Evelta? Is he policy Evelta, though? That could be scary. Oh, no. If, if he airs... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Who's getting big? I, I'm i pretty sure this is the Eveltal. He wants to go fast and click Water Spout. All right, well, you better pray this is not policy. <laughs> I think I've made a mistake. Oh, boy. Well, if this is the Japanese tech weakness policy, <laughs> this is going to be over real quick. Okay, there's the wide guard. We should have snarled. Oh, well, we might not have a chance to do it. All right, so we blocked the water spout. That's, That's good. Okay. So we should have just lightning that. Yes. Uh, okay. Now lightning. let's see. Is it policy? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> oh, he just said. <laughs> he said, "Oh my God, the water spout white guard." <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Let's Is he policy? Okay. I want to see. I guess he wasn't policy. Oh my god! Hold on. If you're policy, you just run with that. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> I think he's life form. Oh man, uh, GG okay. rank one thirty. Well, yeah. his his dreams of rank one tonight are not gonna happen. Yeah, he was like, man, I wanted my Kyogre to go fast and. Yeah, he's life form. Yeah, GGS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're here in the PokePace section of the video. We actually had quite a bit of fun, especially in that last battle with Zamazenta. So, Will, once again, thanks for joining us on the channel. So, uh, you, you chose Zamazenta as the restricted. How did you choose the rest of the squad? Okay, so this team has a bit of an origin story to it. Are you ready? Okay. All right, so about like a year ago in Series 8, I saw Manby. Ah. Um, he was using a Zamazenta team on Twitch. I don't know if it was his team. I don't really know, but it was uh, Landorus, Thunderous, Zamazenta, Ensign, Regieleki, and Urshifu. And I thought it looked super cool, and I built my own version of it. I didn't know his sets or anything, so I kind of like, you know, took my own swing at the items and everything. And I really kind of evolved that team throughout Series 8 and Series 11. And then um, during that time, I would also play in some, uh, some GS Cup ladder tours, like before Series 12 was announced, and we knew that, you know, it was GS Cup. Um, I would just play in some little, you know, DS Cup tours I would find on Twitter, and I would adjust my Series 8, Series 11 team, and I would take the, uh, we replaced the Landorus with the Groudon, and we replaced the Regieleki with the Venusaur, because Venusaur is Groudon's best friend. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the main reason that this team works really well is because Zamazenta really is kind of the glue for a lot of these people. Like, he really enables Thunderous to, like, not have to worry about water spouts. He can boost Thunderous up. Um, he can also, you know, protect uh, Groudon from water spouts. He's really going to do Calyrex Ice. Um, so I feel like a lot of the weaknesses of this team, Zamazenta really patches up pretty well. And um, yeah, ever since I saw that Zamazenta could be somewhat viable, I've just always wanted to, you know, really make a team that could work. And then um, the Urshifu is on here. The Urshifu is the only one that I would say you could maybe replace with something. But I really like having him around just for the extra dark type. It's kind of, it really helps out into Calyrex Shadow. It really helps out into Solgaleo's like in the end game. Like, after they've got a bunch of Steel Spikes, you can just Wicked Blow them in the face. Um, Ensign is here, you know, to do Ensign things, really keep Zation in check, safety goggles, yep. um, because I can sleep. Um, with the Venusaur, I originally had Sleep Powder on him, and uh, I just found myself wanting to protect way more. And the thing about Sleep is that they often have, like, they might have a Surprise Safety Goggles, they might have a Lumberry, 
they might have some tech that you don't expect and then you just lose your Venusaur. So I just found like I found that in a lot of scenarios, um, I just found myself wanting protect a lot more. So Fair. thing with the Venusaur. Um, Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, the the six looks great. I mean, I agree with that. Of course, you know, Thunderous Groudon has always been a combo. And then, you know, Zamazenta Thunderous is also something really, really good. Uh, so it makes sense to always to just slap on the Venus run here and then instant, of course. And then, yeah, like you said, maybe the Urshifu could be replaced, but it still does really well. It's a nice breaker into a lot of those uh, mm -hmm. other mons that are kind of hard for the rest of the team to remove. Uh, but so yeah, I think it's I think it's good. And now uh, let's talk about the EV spreads here. So uh, looks like the Thunderous is pretty standard. So what about the rest of the thing? Well, let's look at Venusaur first. Yeah. So the thing with Venusaur is um, I really wanted mm -hmm. this guy to be really bulky. Um, I actually just he could probably be speed crept a little bit better. Maybe he literally just has enough speed to outspeed a Calyrex Shadow in the Sun. Mm -hmm. um, and I originally had like I said Sleep Powder and I had Leaf Storm over Frenzy Plant. But the thing about Frenzy Plant is Frenzy Plant will guarantee put a Calyrex Shadow into Lash range. So you can take out a Calyrex in one turn. And oftentimes, like if I go up against, uh, you know, those uh, Calyrex Ice Kyogre teams that are running around, mm -hmm. if they lead Mimikyu and Sen, yep. you can lead Zamazenta Venusaur, and they feel they have to fake out the Venusaur to avoid the Sleep Powder. But we don't have Sleep Powder. So we Dynamax, we bash the Mimikyu's Disguise, and then Vine Lash from uh, Frenzy Plant has a good chance to just KO Mimikyu after the Disguise is broken. So Vine Lash, I mean, uh, Frenzy Plant is there to really just get the most out of your, uh, that initial big Vine Lash. And then, you know, obviously you get the residuals for four turns. But it, okay. ju it just makes that initial hit hit that much harder. Okay. And yeah, and then we've just got, we're just max special attack to get the most out of that. Um, and then I just, you know, made him fast enough to outspeed a Calyrex Shadow in the sun and then just kind of put the rest in bulk. Okay. Now let's take a look at the Groudon. What are we doing here? This Groudon, um, he's just, uh, he's a bulky boy. He's got enough special defense to, unless they're like Mystic Water or Choice Specs, he can take a, uh, a Water Spout and then heal up to like about 70% with the Citrus Berry um, in the sun. Okay. So that's what the defense is there for. Um, the speed... Um, the 28 speed, it's uh, it's an it speed creeps like Pokemon that are trying to outspeed Calyrex Shadow with Tailwind. Right. Um, this is actually a Groudon spread that I used in Series 10, so um, I'm not sure exactly <laughs> how this for this format, but um, it's worked for me so far. So, yeah, just a just bulky boy, enough attack to where you know if you get a Howl boost off on, on him, he's really doing a lot of damage. Um, most of the time with these Citrus Berry Groudons, people are going to run Sword Stance. Yep. I found that uh, because we've got the Howl from Zamazenta, Fire Punch is really nice for, like, if you're going to Dynamax your Groudon early in the game and then you, like, Rock Fall of Thunderous, for example, you can just flare and set up the sun again for Venusaur in the back without having to switch out. So I mm. think that's a, re a really nice reason for the Fire Punch. And then also, like, in certain end games, like, if you've got a Zacian at, like, 60%, you don't have to risk the, the P-Blade Smith. You just go for the Fire Punch in the sun and you kill him. Okay. So I think that Fire Punch helps out with um, obviously like setting up Venu in the back after you rock fall and then yeah just not having to take as many risks with precipice blades and then we don't really need the sword stance because we can howl up if we need to um, so yeah that's my thought process the route on I agree and uh, again the thunders and the, the Urshifu those are standard here with 253 yeah. 253 spreads what about the Zamazenta here uh, the Zamazenta he's just got um, he's got enough speed to be one point faster than the Thundi so we can you know get our howls off and everything like that um just put the rest in HP and then gave him max attack so that, you know, with those howls, he can really start hitting things hard. I mean, a plus one Zamazenta, it's not a Zacian, but it, it hits pretty hard. So, yeah, I just really wanted to... He's bulky enough. I mean, this thing will live a lot just with that HP investment. So, um, yeah, I just put the rest into attack so he can be a threat alongside his partner. Nice. And it uh, looks like the Incineroar spread. I know that I know that 68 defense. Uh, I know that's going to live the... Uh... Zacian close combat after an intimidate. Well, well, but you yep. put all that the, the rest in the special defense. Yeah, um, yeah. I, the thing is, I know that Clover Bells. I know that you're a big, uh, fast ensign kind of guy, right? <laughs> yes, I, I, that historically, yes. The thing with me is like, I've always just really liked to have my ensign as bulky as possible, and like, if it comes down to a, a fake out war, I'll just play around it because I really like this thing to just absolutely wall a uh, Calyrex Shadow. In Series 10, I had the same incident, but I had an AV on him, and this thing takes like 10% from an Astral Barrage if it has an AV. Yeah. So 
yeah, the special defense is just really nice. Um, I, that's just kind of how I build my incineroars, though. I just kind of go full bulk on these guys. And yeah, like you said, the 68 defense. I've lived so many neutral close combats from Zation at literally one HP. So uh, I really like the spread a lot. That's what it's meant to do. All right. So again, you, you, thanks again for explaining the EV spreads. Now let's go ahead to, and show the Poke Pace where you, the viewer, can try out Will's Zamazenta squad. All right, and there it is, folks. There is Will's Zamazenta squad. Again, we had a lot of fun, especially in battle number one, proving that Hal is better than coaching because Hal cannot fail, but coaching can. So, Will, once again, thanks for joining us on the channel. Uh, is there anything about the squad that you would change right now? Um, It's up in the air, but every other day I do think about putting the assault vest on the Thunderous, but then I realize how much I hate getting burned, and I change my mind. <laughs> but I do think one of, if there's one adjustment you could make, I do think it would might be the AV on the Thunderous. And maybe maybe you don't need Darkest Lariat on the instant since we have Urshifu, but I really just like to be able to one-tap a Calyrex Shadow if I need to and not have to bring Urshifu. So, yeah, those are the only two things I think are debatable. Okay, hey, it's a it's a great squad. You got the 1,700 plus on the showdown ladder, top 50 in general. So, hey, if you can get that far, it means it's a good it's a really good solid team so once again thanks again uh now where can the viewer find you will uh you can find me on twitter at will tank it's a uh, mill tank but with a w oh, okay so well that's a very easy plug uh in the video description so once again thanks again and uh, we'll be back with another series 12 squad until then have a good one later <laughs>